locked-in syndrome is a rare neurological disorder characterized by complete paralysis of voluntary muscles in all parts of the body, except for those that control eye movement. It may result from traumatic brain injury, disease of the circulatory system, diseases that destroy the myelin sheath surrounding nerve cells, or medication overdose. Cognition, vertical eye movement, blinking, and hearing are classically preserved in patients suffering from the condition. The individual is conscious and sufficiently intact cognitively to be able to communicate with their eye movements. Clinicians are institutionally advised to be familiar with the condition. These are high probabilities of erroneous diagnosis in situations like comas or vegetative states, especially after a prolonged unconscious state. No one knows how many people lived for years and died, unable to tell anyone around them that they were conscious and aware. Many times it's relatives or caretakers of the patients who recognize the person is showing signs of a conscious state and finally report the patient's ability to communicate through their eye movements. Because of complications like aspiration or sepsis, about 40 to 70% of sufferers pass away in acute phase of illness. Advancements in medical care, rehabilitation, and communication technology have enabled many chronic locked-in syndrome patients to lead meaningful lives. Eye-controlled computer-based communication and brain-computer interface technology currently allows these patients to control their environment, use a word processor coupled to speech synthesizers, and access the worldwide net. A rare survivor, Richard Marsh, a former police officer and teacher, regained consciousness two days after having a stroke. He was aware, alert, and fully able to feel every touch to his body. He recalled having full cognitive and physical awareness, but had absolutely no control over the voluntary muscles in his body. Locked-in syndrome affects around 1% of people who have a stroke. It's a condition with no treatment or cure, and it's extremely rare for patients to recover any significant motor function. But he did. As of 2022, scientists have tested a pair of brain microchips in a man in his 30s who has advanced ALS, otherwise known as Lou Gehrig's disease, who has been diagnosed with locked-in syndrome. Over a two-year span, the microchips implanted in his brain worked to detect communication signals and transmit the data to a computer for processing. During this time, the man learned to communicate letters, words, and sentences using the system according to a preliminary study reported in Nature Communications. The patient was instructed to try different techniques to generate a signal, but manipulating the pitch of a particular sound was one that proved extremely successful. Using neural signals allowed the patient to communicate via the computer. This is the first study to achieve communication by someone who has no remaining voluntary movement and hence for whom the brain-computer interface is now the sole means of communication. Looking forward in the years to come, it will be very interesting to see where this technology goes. These are Interesting Things with J.C.